Hi everyone, welcome to the first video of Redux Toolkit tutorial series. Before starting the video, I want to let you know that these are the topics that we are going to cover in this tutorial series. So the first and second video is the theory part of Redux and the Redux Toolkit and the implementation part has started from the third video. In this video, we will cover the theory of Redux. By the end of this video, you will understand what is action, reducer and store. So before jumping to the Redux, first understand the need of Redux. For that, let's take an example. We have an e-commerce application that has multiple component. And inside this product details, we have one state that we want to share to this cart. So how can we share the state from product details to the cart? So one way is we can pass the state from product details to product, then from product to app, and then from app to cart. So this is the one way we can pass the state, but it will be complex when we have nested component and it will be typical when we are building a large application. So what is the solution for it? So Redux comes to rescue. Redux is a state management library and it provide us a global state. So if I go back to again, if we have a global state that product details and cart can access, then we have to just pass the data from product details page to that global state and cart can access that particular state. So Redux provides us a store. Our global state resides inside this store. So let's take an example. We have a state which has these four properties and we want to save this state inside the Redux store so that my every component can access this. So if we have a store here, so product detail page will set the data to the store and cart will able to access the new state. But there is an issue. We can't directly set the data into the Redux store and can't directly access this data from the Redux store. For that, Redux provides a reducer. So let's understand what is a reducer. A reducer is a function that takes an action and return a new state to the store. So it is a normal function that says pass me the state that you want to change and pass me the action that tells me what to change in it and I will return a new state. Let's see. We have the initial state that we want to set. We are passing this state inside the reducer and we are also passing the action. So first let's understand what is the action. So action is an object which has two properties type and the data. So this is an action. The type is add to cart and the payload is data. We want to save this data into this state. Similarly, I can make another action for removing my item and this action is for removing item and we are only passing ID in the data. So let's check the reducer. So this is the cart reducer which take the state and the action. Inside the switch statement, I am just checking for action.type. If the action.type is add to cart, then I'm adding the product to the cart. And if the action dot type is remove item, then I will remove the item and return the state. Same, we are returning state in the add to cart. So that's how reducer update the store state with the new values. If none of the case matches, then it returns the default state. Let's summarize this. So we have to pass a action from the component to the reducer and reducer based on that particular action, generate a new state and save it inside the store and the new component can access the data from the store. If you find it difficult to understand, then don't worry. From the next video, we will cover the implementation part and that will be easy for you to understand everything. So this video is just to introduce action, reducer and store so that from next video, it will be easy for you to understand this concept. So providing a global state is one of the feature of Redux. When you complete this tutorial series, then you will understand the complete benefits of Redux. So keep watching the series with the latest Redux approach. In the next video, we will cover Redux toolkit. Thank you for watching this video.